Have you ever pondered the fairness and rationality of policymaking in Zimbabwe? Take a moment and let's delve into one particular issue that's been causing a stir among the private citizens of this beautiful nation. Picture this. Private individuals, just like you and me, being arrested and prosecuted for using a service called Starlink. Now you might ask, what's wrong with using Starlink? Well, that's the question we all have been asking. Interestingly, while the government is quick to crack down on the private use of Starlink, it turns a blind eye when its own institutions and affiliates use it. Not only do they use it, but they also peddle it. The state broadcaster ZBC News Online is a prime example, having procured Starlink for its own use. Even more astonishing is the fact that companies affiliated with the government, such as ZTN Prime, also use Starlink. And let's not forget the allegation that the son of a cabinet minister sells Starlink. An allegation, mind you, that has never been denied by the government. So what does this tell us? Clearly, there's a market for this product. The people of Zimbabwe crave fast, reliable internet. And who can blame them? In this digital age, the internet has become a basic necessity. So if the government entities and their affiliates desire access to this service, why should the public be denied the same right to choose a service provider of their preference? The government spokesperson, in an anecdotal statement, expressed his preference for fiber optic internet over satellite internet. But can personal preference be the basis upon which government decisions are made? The Administrative Justice Act calls on public officials to make policy decisions that are lawful, reasonable, and fair. Is it fair to criminalize the purchase of reliable internet? Shouldn't the focus be on providing the best services to the people, instead of restricting their choices? This situation calls for rational policy making, especially when it comes to a service as basic as internet access. It's time to stop criminalizing the quest for reliable internet. Zimbabwe needs new leaders, leaders who will uphold the principles of fairness, rationality and justice. Leaders who will prioritize the needs of the people over their personal preferences. It's time for change. It's time for action. Let's strive for a Zimbabwe where policymaking is fair, reasonable and in the best interest of all citizens.